Getting stuck in the middle of nowhere is quite an unfortunate ordeal, and we do wish electric motorcycles had more range. But let's be honest, highly demanding off-roading challenges rarely exceed the distances and run times of modern e-bikes can already cover. In this video, we will prove this to you by demonstrating the lineup of the newest ruggedized electric models that will silently dig through any obstacle on the trail nearby. Before we go to the episode, make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest EV news. Now let's get technical. This Texas-based startup specializes exclusively in developing all-terrain capable electric vehicles, either with two or four wheels. Their first model is a rugged motorcycle that rides on two huge chunky tires, offers 12 inches of ground clearance, comes with a premium off-road suspension. The Grunt gets an IP67 waterproof electric motor that peaks at 50 horses, 75 pound-feet and comes paired with a swappable battery pack good for up to 100 miles. The bike offers three riding modes, speeds to 60 miles per hour and takes six seconds to accelerate to this maximum velocity. The Czech company Kuberk developed a new breed of off-road electric motorbikes. Their Ranger is a crossover between enduro and trial bikes, as well as a stand-up scooter of sorts. The most distinguishable features of this model are a 19-inch front wheel, a downsized 14-inch rear wheel, and a fully adjustable power reclining seat. The setup ensures lower center of gravity and unmatched stability off the pavement. Shock absorption comes in the form of a 180 mm fork and a DNM burner shock. The buyers have an option to choose between three trim levels of the Rangers, the standard 11 horsepower with regenerative braking, the 19 horsepower race with fenders, and the aforementioned reclining seat, and the adventure that comes with an ingenuine cargo trailer. Building on the same aluminum frame and swing arm, the Ink is a more affordable take on the company's top spec caulk or electric dirt bike. The lower price model though refuses to compromise in terms of power and offers the same drivetrain delivering 15 horsepower and 31 pound-feet of torque. It loses the Oars Olin suspension but gets the cake-owned setup consisting of MK sprint fork and direct mounted shock. In addition, the bike swaps the previous 24-inch wheels to smaller and more robust 19 inches. The 2.6 kilowatt hour removable battery is claimed to offer up to three hours of pure off-road fun and requires 2.5 hours to get fully charged from a standard outlet. The like button must be smashed if you want electric transportation to be our future. Do so and let's proceed. Promising a lot of fun for kids between 10 and 16, the LB Youth Electric Motocross Bike by Surron is based on the company's adult model, so it boasts the same tech and standard features. For example, there is full MX suspension, 17-inch tires, and an integrated GPS tracker. The latter displays real-time tracking, theft alerts, and geofence security zones. The bike's electric powertrain consists of a 2.9 kilowatt motor and removable 960 watt hour battery pack. This capacity is enough for the maximum range of 44 miles, as long as you are cruising at comfortable 13 miles per hour.
All-wheel drive is the major requirement for a true off-roader if it has got four wheels. In case of two-wheelers, this isn't usually the case, but the New Zealand UBCO thinks otherwise. Their freshest 2x2 lineup entries, called Adventure and Work, got the proprietary suspension design, KXH power, supply in three capacities, and two-wheel hub flux motors. Each power unit has 10% improved efficiency, outputs 1 kilowatt, and could be paired with 2.1 through 3.1 kilowatt hour battery packs. These figures ensure 75 miles autonomy and 31 mile per hour top speed. Among the two models, the blacked out work would be perfect for a hunter or a farmer, while the Adventure bike was homologated for the road use and could be enhanced with UBCO telematics for fleet management and connectivity. The California-based manufacturer Onyx has been producing its RCR electric bike since 2018, but in the upcoming model year, the company is releasing its updated version with the larger battery pack option. Labeled as the GT, it has 41 amp hour capacity and allows for a maximum range of 75 miles. The usual hub motor now peaks at 8 horsepower, produces 60 miles per hour speeds and accelerates the bike to 31 miles per hour in 4 seconds. Additionally, you can equip the RCR with the DRT off-road kit that includes front and rear fenders, a headlight grille, a rear rack, and fork dust covers. This joint project of the Ukrainian companies Gion and Emgo technology has been under the development for the last three years and after two prototypes, it is ready for pre-orders. The model borrows styling cues from one of Gion's gas-powered two-wheelers and features traditional scrambler bodywork with a highly visible tubular frame, a rounded LED headlamp, and standard all-terrain tires. Its powertrain is represented by a 21.5 horsepower electric motor that is wired to 8.8 kilowatt hour battery pack with LG cells. The manufacturer claims more than 90 miles on a single charge and the top speed is 75 miles per hour. There's also a four-speed transmission that works similarly to a regular gearbox and offers better control over the power delivery. Tromox is a young e-mobility startup from China that presented its first e-scoot at the 2019 Milan Motorcycle Show. Now the brand is ready to launch the Mino in other markets, including the US and Canada. Created in cooperation with an unnamed Italian firm, its design features 30 hard points that allow for multiple customization possibilities. The model rides on a carbon fiber steel frame and uses many aluminum parts, as the result tipping the scales at 150 pounds. The source of propulsion is a mid-mounted brushless motor peaking at 2.5 kilowatt and 37 miles per hour. It offers several battery options with the largest one ensuring up to 73 miles of riding. Additionally, the Mino gets an inverted front fork suspension, LED lighting, disc brakes and a smart LCD display. Famous for its dirt, motocross, and enduro bikes, the Swedish Husqvarna is opening a new chapter in its 117-year-long history with its first all-electric model. Positioned to attract young beginner riders, the EE5 offers manageable handling, has plenty of torque, and demonstrates performance similar to its 50cc ICE siblings. It is motivated by a 7-horsepower direct-drive electric motor that delivers stable 10-pound-feet of torque. Plus, its 900-watt-hour battery ensures from half an hour to two hours of riding. The bike operates in six riding modes and gets a premium suspension setup represented by the fully adjustable WP X-Act fork and shock.
Can electric bikes become the next big thing in the dirt segment of motorbikes? Share with us in the comments section below the video and name your favorite models from the lineup. Stay on top of the latest EV news by subscribing to our channel and ring the bell not to miss the upcoming episodes. The links to more content are in front of you and more is to come. See ya.